and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. The Royal Rumble. The road to the Royal Rumble continues. The longest time spent in the Royal Rumble match. These are the top ten amount of time in one single Rumble. Now, I am going to say that in 1995, Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels entered the Rumble number one and won it. The number one and number two were the final two, the British Bulldog and the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. Unfortunately, that Rumble was only 38 minutes long. So yes, he won from the number one spot, but he was in it half as long as some of these guys were. Almost half. So yes, he went wire to wire, but he was only in it 38 minutes. These guys, the least amount here is 52 minutes and the most is 62 minutes. So let's get to the top 10 Amount, longest time spent in a single rumble, single rumble. Number 10, Rick Martel, the 1991 Royal Rumble match. He entered number 6. He was out at number 25 with four, four eliminations, 52 minutes and 17 seconds. Number 9 came from 2001. The dead man, or the dead man, excuse me. The Big Red Machine, Kane, entered at number 6. Out at 29, 11 eliminations. 53 minutes and 46 seconds. Number 7 and number 8 should be an asterisk by these. <coughs> if you've seen the 1999 Royal Rumble match, you know Stone Cold came in at 1, Vincent Kennedy McMahon, Mr. McMahon came in at 2. Both of them spent 56 minutes and 38 seconds technically in the Rumble. Vince won. Stone Cold was the last one to be eliminated number 29. Stone Cold eliminated eight people. Vince eliminated one. Stone Cold. But early, 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 early on in this Rumble match, I want to say if I recollect correctly, fourth, fifth era when people came out, Vince and Stone Cold went through the ropes. Not over, like you're supposed to be eliminated. Through. Fought through the crowd. Went up and fought in the men's room. The, uh, um, oh my god, what the hell is the faction called then? The uh, Vince's guys, whatever. The, oh my god. Anyway, they jumped Stone Cold in the men's bathroom and laid him out. So, gets toward the end of the rumble, Vince comes out midway, jumps on commentary. And then, yeah, I think there was four or five people left and he gets in the ring. And then Stone Cold comes out. So they didn't spend the entire 56 minutes in the ring participating. They were in the building and technically in the match. Number 6. 2016 Rumble. Entered number 1. Roman Reigns. Out at number 28. 5 eliminations. This Rumble was for Roman Reigns' world title. And he got eliminated. 59 minutes and 50 seconds, and he lost his world title. The only person ever to lose a world title in a Royal Rumble match. The only other Royal Rumble that was for the title was the 1993 Rumble. The title had to be vacated. So number five, one hour and two seconds, 1992 winner. So it was 92, not 93, where the other, where the title was vacant. The 92 winner for an hour and two seconds. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! In the ring, number, world number three. Five eliminations later, and an hour later, he's World Heavyweight Champion. His first WWE World Title. Number four came in 2006. Was the winner of the 2006. Nope, take that back. He entered number one and is eliminated number 28. My bad. Uh, for an hour and one hour and 16 seconds, five eliminations. The game, Triple H. Number three came from the 1993 Royal Rumble. Entered number two, eliminated number 28, had two eliminations, was in the ring for one hour, one minute, and ten seconds. Bob Backlund. Number two on the list came from the 2004 Rumble, was the winner of the 2004 Rumble, had six eliminations, entered number one, only the second person ever to do that for one hour, one minute, and 31 seconds, the late Chris Benoit. 
and number one. 2006 Rumble entered number two, six eliminations, was in the match one hour and two seconds, two minutes and 12 seconds, the longest person ever to be in a single Royal Rumble match, Rey Mysterio Jr. So the top 10 longest times in a Rumble produced four winners. Rey Mysterio, Chris Benoit, the Nature Boy Ric Flair, and Vince McMahon. The 2006 Rumble had two people. The one and two were in there for over an hour. The 99 Rumble had two people, the first two people in there for 56 minutes. So it doesn't matter if you're in the ring for 10 minutes or 62 minutes. Anyone can win at any time. So that wraps up the longest time spent in the Royal Rumble match. Stay tuned to Rumble Sports Show for the rest of the road to the Royal Rumble. As always, thanks for watching the Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great night, have a spiffy night. The Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.